the two options that we talk about today for the O2 series will be the prolog and the watchdog. The watchdog is mainly what you'll be using because it's integrated into the uh, inverter and or optional integrated. And the prolog is a, is a device we can use for multiple systems up to 32 inverters. That is an optional um, interface for a homeowner to watch the system without going online or going outside, out to the side. The prologue, as you can see here, I put it on the table. We're going to look at it a little bit later just to touch it and then see where the terminations are for the uh, connections. Again, I can monitor up to 32 inverters. There's two versions. We have the M and the XL. The differences are that the XL has more inputs on digital and analog. So you can put radiant sensors, temperature sensors, or wind speed sensors, uh, etc., on it. And uh, the memory card is actually a little bit bigger, so it just device restore energy, even though there's no internet connection, you could still keep the, the information that's produced from the system will stay on there for years. So you can access this directly without the internet, or you can go through our portal and access the information as well. Uh, this is the way you would set it up. You have an RS-45 setup, and it's a it would be daisy chained together, up to 32. Going into the prolog, you can locally access that, as well as sending uh, connecting it to our server, and then we will basically update the uh, portal, and you will be accessing it through the web, uh, for, through, in this case, through Sanjevity's website. And the QuickStar will help you to set up the equipment. Very simply, it shows the pictures. It shows pretty much everything you have to do. You can download that on our website as well. And it comes with the box. It comes with each device that you order, the same as with the watchdog. In your case, probably the installers who might want to take that with them as a sheet sheet card that is kind of laminated or something. Um, this is just the difference between the two products, M and XL. Um, as you can see, the inputs on the M is a, a single input on analog and a digital. And for the product XL, it has four inputs. That's the main difference on the two. And of course, uh, there's other options on the modem side or so. The way you connect them. Uh, so you're running an RS-45 cable, which is a, a twisted pair of wires. It's a two wires, A and B. And you start off at the prologue. There's a termination here. It's a little terminal. It says RS-45. And you're running the two wires to each inverter. If you're running the prologue to inverter number one, in this case, let's say this one, this would be an address number one, number two, three, and so on and so on. And they all daisy chain together. And then in the end of the termination, Again, there's a little switch that you call the dip switch here. Then you just have to, all the other inverters, would, the switch will stay open, and the last inverter, the switch will close, just like a light switch, so we close the loop. So it's very simple. For the prologue, of course, you have to do it because you always will have multiple inverters if you're going to use that prologue device. For the installation of the inverter, you can see we have the returns here and the hots here, the grounds, and the L1, L2, and neutral. using uh, two cables connecting it to A and B, and running that cable then to the card over here to A and B. So basically connecting it to A and B. Prolog, the Ethernet connection is connected right here. This is the terminal. It gets connected right there, and then this will go into the outlet. And so then the inverter will store that data. If you, connect, if you disconnect the card, the inverter will always clock the data in. So the accumulated protection of the system will always be in the inverter. So for any reason, let's say they disconnect their service, or some, they didn't pay their bills, or something happens, we can always take that data from the inverter and add it to the monitoring data. It but it's cumulative. It's not necessarily exactly. It will not show the single. Exactly. It will not show the in individual data. It will just show the accumulated data. The watchdog, I mean, com communication devices, again, you can daisy chain up to three inverters together. If you use the card inverter number one, then this is number one, number two, number three. If you use the card in the middle because of the setup, you would start in the middle here. This would be a host or your master. And let's say you go to one, two, and then three. So it's just, they always have to be daisy chained together. You can't just you know, jump left and right because then your card would now, which, because you over, the data would go for the same stream and then it would just, the data gets lost. Um, the card then, sends the data to our server, you get an email alarm, and you can access that through the Sanjevity website or to Sanjevity uh, 
hosting website.